Hi, everybody, and welcome to our, I'm going to call it, second to last Big Brother 18 recap show. It's our second to last one, but don't worry, Big Brother Over the Top starts next week. Uh, actually, I guess it's not our second to last one, because we're going to have all those wackadoodle jury members on uh, starting next week. If you want to see any of our shows back with the pre-jury people or our recap shows with past house guests, they're at yourelderrecaps.com slash bb18. If you want to see shows back like this one, they're at slash bb18 spoilers. Maybe I should move it over to the regular page. We'll have those same two pages. Just switch out BB-18 for BBOTT as soon as Big Brother Over the Top starts. Uh, if you missed something from the season, Flashback Times is your friend. I have lots of news and updates about Big Brother Over the Top, which you can only watch if you get the feeds. So help support us and get them through yourouterrecaps.com slash feeds. If you already have the feeds... We don't get credit for that. But if you were to cancel them, and then tomorrow go, oh, I shouldn't have canceled them, I want to watch Big Brother over the top, you know, then we would get credit for it. Um, and two, two last super quick things. If you want to be an updater, uh, one of our live feed updaters, check out yourialtorecaps.com slash bbott updaters and fill out the form. And then lastly... We have so much to talk about. The best thing you can do to help support our shows, keep us bringing you all the amazing content that you love, is become a patron. YourRealityRecaps.com slash patron. You get weekly patron-only shows, uh, prize giveaways for patrons, a uh, weekly access to the patron Facebook group. It's private. <laughs> and your questions asked to reality stars, or you could just do a one-time donation at YourRealityRecaps.com slash PayPal. Boop. Boop. Hi, everybody. Hi, Dancing Amy. I see... Oh, Dancing Amy's in the chat. I know Allison, XOXO Feedsters is here. You two are going to have a very busy Monday. So I hear that uh, the cast, the Big Brother Over the Top cast, will be announced on Monday, this coming Monday, at 10 a.m. Eastern. So uh, make sure that you guys are around for that. Of course, we will... I'm not sure if we will be doing a show uh, for it, but we will definitely be updating the website. I tweeted out... Again, you now is still square for me, so I can't... They promise me that they're going to be expanding my room again so that we can fit more than just in this little tiny box let me out the box um i tweeted that out the schedule so uh if you need to know what's coming up for the next few days right now it is voting for jose or jason that is what is currently happening right now for big brother over the top we are voting whether we want uh jason back in the game or if we want jose back in the game and here's the thing well i really like jose and i think he is an amazing character and i have nothing bad to say about him and he did great feeds and great everything i love jason and the thing is, Jason gives back to fans all the time. Between Twitter, doing shows here, doing shows other places, Snapchatting. Jason is all about fans, and we're all about fans. And I want to see somebody that's all about um, giving back to the Big Brother community uh, get on the show. So, uh, Jason, one million percent needs our votes. You can vote 20 times a day, and it is, you can only vote for, uh, the next, I guess, let's see, what does my schedule say? When does voting end? Uh, the 27th. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That would be five more days. I can count. I would do good in a counting comp. Um, so you only have five more days to vote for our boy Jason, but you can vote for him 20... Oh, yes, until Tuesday. That makes way more sense. Until Tuesday. Hi, Audrey Mitchell. Um, so, yeah. Make sure we get all of those votes in for Jason. Other things I may have learned today... And now, I feel like this can't be right, but it's what I was told today uh, from reliable sources. 
apparently we're picking the winner of Big Brother 18. I mean, over the top. <laughs> we already picked who we wanted to be the winner of Big Brother 18. Can we just agree? Oh, I guess I have to talk about Big Brother 18. I was going to say, can we just agree not to talk about Big Brother 18 anymore? <laughs> At least we just don't talk about the winner. Um, congratulations, Nicole fans. Uh, so, I hear we will be picking uh, the winner. I know Julie said it last night, but the way Julie said it last night, it was kind of could have been taken either way. Like, it could have been taken, we're just getting a vote. Like, we get to throw a vote in for the winner. But no. Apparently, when it gets down to the final two, we will get to uh, decide who wins. Which, honestly, to me, seems like a great money-saving strategy if you don't have to pay to sequester a jury the jury is America, then you don't have to sequester a jury. Saves lots of money. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, I would say there's probably not going to be a jury. Other things I heard, uh, there is going to be no changes to the house. The house is staying exactly as is. There will be no changes to the house. I mean, obviously, I'm sure we're going to get, like, a new bedspread. God, I hope. I mean, who wants those Nicori STDs? I mean, really. Um, but no changes to the house. Confirmed. Hopefully they clean it. Uh, enjoy that clogged shower. Seriously. Um, I'm trying to remember all the other things I was told today. Um, the cast, the house isn't... Oh, uh, we're not voting for Have Not Foods. Which I find odd if they're making it seem like a season that we're voting for a lot of stuff. But apparently we are not voting for Have Not Foods. I don't know if that means there's no Have Nots, but we're not voting for Have Not Foods. Mmm... Um, the times on the schedule, which to me seem really late, are at the moment set in stone, but subject to change. If the late night shows of everything are not working out for tons of fans, I guess maybe they're opening to uh, change the time. Have not comp that maybe No, no have not comp. No voting for have nots and no have not comp. Both confirmed. Basically, how do I put this? Uh, people today, and we were one of those people, had like a little debriefing on what Big Brother Over the Top would be. So I'm just relaying the info from that briefing on what Big Brother Over the Top would be and, and be about. Um, so no food comps and no have not comps. There's a have not reveal on the schedule. I was told no have not comps, so I don't know. Uh, that's good. I thought having have not was inhumane. Because <laughs> being locked in that house is totally humane. Uh, there was an... Oh, mm, oh, perfect. Great, Dancing Amy. Dancing Amy says there was an affiliate conference call today and BB Gossip gave a rundown on Twitter about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, what's this safety ceremony? Apparently, we uh, will get to vote safety for people. So, like, people we don't want to be eliminated, we can make them safe. Really? Okay. Let me take my emotions out of this season. Thanks, James Thompson, for the bars. Thank you very much. Let me just pretend like I'm going to just try and be neutral about this season for a minute and not totally love the fact that it is so geared for Jason to win. Anyway, um, if I was a regular player on this season, I would kind of be upset that it seems like America gets a lot of say in who gets to be safe each week and who gets to win this game, which means there's going to be a ton of playing to the audience. You're not really playing the house. 
you're playing America, where I normally say in order to win Big Brother, you need to play production, play the house, and play America. In this season, it seems like you need to play America, play America, and play America. You can basically walk around the house and say F you to everybody, but if America likes you, you're going to be safe each week. Also, I... And I don't imagine how this could be, but it seems what's going to happen, the only DR time will be on the feeds. Like, they won't be being called to the DR unless it's the scheduled DR times that we get to watch live during the week, which I think is interesting. I think it's going to cut down on a lot of people talking about um, DR, uh, DR manipulation since they're not getting called and they're only talking to people when we talk to them. It's going to be weird. Uh, man, James and Natalie were on the wrong show. Yep. I can't wait for Jason to win 250 Okay, so now here's the other thing. So now, God, if I was a new player on that season... I would be like, how unfair is it that James gets to be on, uh, Jason gets to be on, on a season when America controls everything and America already loves him? <laughs> I think Jason might wins this season. So, I'm fine with it. <laughs> Uh, rig it up. <laughs> rig it up, Big Brother. After last season that I had to see what I saw last night, I say rigatoni. Rig away, rigatoni, rig it up, rig a rig a rig roll is what I'm saying. <laughs> Slant it, skew it, manipulate it. I don't care. It's time for someone that we like to win this game is what I'm saying. <laughs> Who? What do you think about Nicole saying she is going to she is going to go to a financial advisor because she doesn't know what to do with that much money. Uh, I think that's a smart idea. I think it's more smart than anything Nicole said all season. That's exactly what you should do if you win that much money. You should go to a financial advisor. Um, they should have put Janelle on so she could finally win. Mm. I mean, look, I love Janelle, but it's like... Mm. I want to never see Nicole again. Uh, seriously. Oh, yes. So people are asking, don't worry. Don't worry, everyone. Ya boy. And when I say ya boy, I mean me. God, all of you. Right before this show started, guess who I was talking to? Oh, did you guess Vic? Yeah. Yeah, I was. I was chatting away with, I was chatting away with our little Vic. Other people I was chatting with uh, before this show was uh, Paul, your boy. Yeah, Paul. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So don't worry, friends. They're coming on. I made sure that the people you guys were going to want the most were coming on. I just, I've been trying really hard to make sure that we could get Victor and we could get, um, Paul on, so they're a lock, Natalie's a lock, uh, they will all be on, so you guys will all have at least an hour and a half to ask them whatever questions you guys want to ask. We have not locked the day in yet, uh, they're crazy busy, they're partying, they have Rachel's party tonight, they're doing, I'm sure they're going to Boogie's bar, they're, they're doing so much stuff this weekend, I'm not pressuring them to commit to a time or any of that stuff yet. And I have to go away for work uh, next week, which is why it's going to be a little crazy for us next week. So I hope you all just bear with us. The cast is being announced on Monday. I'm going to try and get as much stuff updated on the website uh, as I can, but then I'm gone from Tuesday to Thursday. I will m be live tweeting the premiere of Big Brother Over the Top, and uh, my hope is Friday of next week will be our first official uh, jury uh, interview show. So mark that on your little calendars. <laughs> and then we will start. To, there'll be a show every night starting next Friday is what I'm saying. Every night starting next Friday at 7 p.m. It'll either be a Big Brother Over the Top recap show or a um, jury exit interview. I will... Uh, 
pin the schedule when I know who's coming on when. I'll pin it to our Twitter and I'll put it on our Big Brother uh, OTT webpage so you guys don't have to worry about that. Uh, what about Devon? I, I'm working on the Devon. I sent her a text, I sent her an email. You guys gotta remember, they all just got out of the house. I mean, I do wanna talk to you. I have a lot of updates for you. For those of you that have missed what has happened on Twitter today, Devon has explained why she voted the way she voted. I will read that to you guys. Um, I got a lot of stuff that I've gathered from the internet today that I can update all of you on. I just wanted to make sure that I told you all the Big Brother over the top stuff before I forgot it. Um, how salty do you think James will be because he won't be on Big Brother over the top? I don't know. Never cared. Honestly, I'm really interested to see how, um... James handles postseason this go round. I, a lot of people know I wasn't thrilled with how he handled it last go round. Uh, maybe this time he'll handle it better. What I will say, uh, I loved how he went out on final three. It did not at all seem like he was bitter, which to me means there's part of his personality that is genuine like that. I loved that moment between him and Paul. I love that he made the joke about Pablo. And uh, if you've seen all over Twitter today, James and Natalie are hanging out with uh, James's kid and wife and other kid. So it's like, they all seem to, they seem to be happy right now. So I'm happy that he is happy right now. Uh, Ed Rizzo says, uh, Nicole is the only one who hasn't said hello to fans. I, I'm aware, Forward Flow. Is anybody surprised? See, what I almost want to do is all the Nicole fans that were trolling yesterday and trolling all day today, I just kind of want to put a tweet out that's like, ooh, how's all that Nicole support going? Has she thanked you yet? It's not everybody else thanked you guys. It's so weird that Nicole just can't be bothered with you after winning $500,000. Damn, she could probably throw $100 bills at somebody to actually just text it for her. And she just hasn't even done that either. It's so weird. So weird, Nicole fans. Again, to be clear, this is why I don't like Nicole. Which I don't actually know when she... Okay, wait. <laughs> Let's do it this way. This is much more fun. Honestly, I'm, I'm, I was laughing thinking that it um, happened recently. Uh, however, I don't think ever in my life have I gone to uh, Nicole's web... Um, I don't think ever in my life have I gone to Nicole's Twitter page is what I'm saying. Uh, where is it? What is her Twitter name? What is Nicole's Twitter name? Can somebody just paste it in the... Ch oh, wait. No. Isn't it Nicole underscore? I'm so confused. Right. Thanks, said Rizzo. Okay, so... I don't know. Bum, ba -da bum, bum, bum. I'm gonna do Devon next. Why is this so annoying? Okay, I don't know. Apparently, uh, Twitter is annoying now. And I'm going to read you guys Nicole's uh, Twitter thing. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Got it. Okay, so, I don't know when this happened, and honestly, this really isn't something that we should be making a joke about, but, you know, whatever. Um... <laughs> So I went to Nicole's uh, page today because before I tweeted out about, oh, Nicole didn't, hasn't, you know, followed anyone or, or said anything to anyone, I just wanted to make sure that I was correct in that. And um, then I noticed that I've been blocked. <laughs> now, I can't say that I'm surprised or even blame her, um, but... And like I say, it doesn't necessarily mean it's now. I've never been to her page ever. She could have blocked me on her last season. I have no idea. Um, but I thought it was funny. 
<laughs> and honestly, I don't blame her. If I was her, I would probably block... No. If I was her with her personality, I would block me too. What an adult would do would, like, reach out and talk to somebody. What, like, an immature, crazy um, child would do is just block out anybody that is... She, she's literally doing, la, 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 I can't hear you, I can't hear you, I can't hear you. I can't hear what you're saying, la la la. Nobody tell me my game was bad. Which, look, I in a way I get it. I'd probably do the same thing. Um, the only thing she did today is retweet a tweet about her being on the talk. Did you guys see the the tweet that um, I tweeted out earlier today? Actually, um, Giselle sent it to me earlier this morning. She was watching the Rob interviews. It's hysterical. Uh, where is it? This is really annoying. Where is it? Do, 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 do. It's with uh, Rob is doing the backyard interviews. And here it is. Got it. It's so hard. Be the stupid little square. I hate it. I hate this little square. Okay, so <laughs> Rob's doing backyard interviews and. Look who's in the background taking selfies. All about her. <laughs> All about her. <laughs> Again, can't really say I blame her, but it's pretty funny. <laughs> it's pretty funny. It is like she is in her own world and her world only orbits around her. <laughs> Oh, it is. But anyway, yeah. I mean, I... Yes, 100% everyone. I noticed that she um, hasn't said anything. I'm not surprised. Uh, I hope, I hope, I hope... If there's one thing that comes out of this season, my, my main goal for being so public about how I felt about Nicole is hopes that she'll prove me wrong and interact with those of you that are her fans. So I'm hoping that's what happens. I hope she gets back at me by going and doing Rob's show and McCray's show and doing Periscopes and talking to all of you. Otherwise, it will feel like it wasn't worth it. <laughs> <laughs> the outfit was horrible. Oh, yeah, it was. New Jersey girl says she better take that 500k and get a new wardrobe picked out by someone with taste or eyes. <laughs> uh, today she thanked her fans for all the support. Oh, great. Mini Mimi from Portage. Where was that? Where did she do that? Um... I told you I called it. Nicole against Paul was an over. David Thielen, I already, I already told you a good game yesterday. David Thielen, I already told you yesterday. You were right. I was wrong. Yay, you were right. Nicole won. whoop de doo I would also like to point out that I was correct, because now let's bring up the Devon tweets where Devon explains her vote. Uh, David wants me to grovel. Oh, I'll grovel, David. Oh, oh, I will grovel. I'm gonna pull it up on the screen so that you can all read it along with me. Uh, let's see if this will fit. Nope, I need to make it smaller. I can't, oh, I don't want to jinx anything. I can't believe we're doing so good with no robot voice at the moment. Um, she was forced to do that. Are you going to have Michelle on? Sure, if Michelle wants to come on, I'll have her on. Oh, Nicole. Okay, I got it. Thank you. For clarity, the chat room says Nicole did it on CBS's Snapchat. Well, that's sweet. You know what that's called? A contractual obligation. She has to. It's in her contract. <laughs> that's about CBS getting followers to their Snapchat. It's not Nicole coming on and thanking her fans. Please, you people are insane. Okay, let's see now today on Twitter uh, what Devon's explanation is for the way that she voted. So Devon says, uh, oh, it's still too big. Okay, let's go a touch smaller. Boop. Okay, 
She says, love you all. One thing's for sure, those that ride for me ride harder when they're mad at me. So apparently Devon is already getting the backlash of people not being happy with her. Uh, and then she says, since it's a long ride home, uh, you're ready to know about my vote. So she says, when I said I didn't want to see Paul, I meant that 100%. What I also didn't want to see was Paul Evick James. James never had my vote. I'm not in the house. I got evicted August 8th. So all I had was DVDs of comps, noms eviction, plus the words of the other jurors. Those boys, plus Nat and Meech, all admitted to doing Nicole's dirty work for her. They all said Nicole convinced them to work with her. They also said they agreed to team up with Nicole and Corey uh, to get... Oh, to team up with... Wait, now I totally lost my place because I'm reading it two places. Uh... They admitted doing those. They also said they agreed to team up with Nicole and Corey rather than Natalie, Michelle, Polly, and Victor teaming up to get Nicole and Corey out. They all admitted they said that they felt betrayed by her and trusted her. She convinced them to do shit they didn't even want to really do. They said they heard nothing about Paul's game from anyone who came into jury, even Victor and Paul. Even Victor said Paul hid behind him as a shield. I would have voted for Paulie. If I would have voted for Paulie, it would have been personally. It would have been because personally I love him. Nicole is not my friend at all. But they only talked about her game. I don't know what's going on in the house. I do know everyone who is... Uh, I don't know what's going on in the house, but I do know every time a juror came in, they said it was due to Nicole. So what do I do? Y'all can't fault me for things I didn't see. I didn't watch the feeds, nor was I in the house. Check the messengers if you're that pissed. Those that say I would vote for someone that... Why would I vote for someone that voted me out? She couldn't have voted me if Paul never put me up. I have to say, I totally agree with what Devon is saying. I agree with what Devon is saying. She makes a really good point. It's the same thing as Cody, honestly. A lot of people give Cody so much shit, and everyone's like, oh my god, Cody, you gave Derek $500,000, and all you had to do was take Victoria. But Cody didn't know that Derek was the mastermind of the season. He didn't know what everybody was talking about in jury. He thought it really didn't matter, and he did just as much, so why not take my friend? Honestly, the same kind of a thing that Paul did uh, this season. So, you know, you can't fault Devon for not knowing everything that we know. A lot of people forget that the jury members don't know everything that we know and that, um, you know, they, they, they don't know. The winners don't know everything we know uh, and neither do the jury. Nicole is no mastermind. I agree. I think I tweeted it out earlier today, and I stand by it now as well, where I feel like Nicole's win is very symbolic of her game. She had everybody else do the work for her, and then at the end, she would sneak in and take the credit. And it ended up being she snuck in and took the win. Now, I totally get you could argue the point that that's a great game. What a great game you must have in order to stay in bed all day and not be a target being a returning player. Whereas Paul had a fight his whole entire time in that house to stay, and Nicole basically had to do nothing and have everyone else do it for her. I can, I, I'm, I don't want to dismiss the people that say that is a, a good game uh, play because it worked for her to win. Sure. It worked. She won. So clearly it's a good way to play the game. The reason I don't respect it is I don't respect games where someone wins who didn't need to do anything. That's boring. It's like cheating. 
It's like putting in a cheat code. It's like she just cheat coded her way through the whole game. Control alt. Oh, control alt delete is not a cheat code. <laughs> Thank you, Joe Brown, for the bars. That very much helps us out. I'm only going to need um, 900 thousand more bars to get my jeep fixed so normally i say don't give bars give all the damn bars you want this show mama needs to fix her jeep nine hundred dollars for a fucking gas line um ramble 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 i only wanted victor well look victor's gonna come on uh he really doesn't have a choice i've kidnapped all of his children i mean i legit have uh, every single one of his Baldwin children, which I wish I would have been down here <laughs> when I was talking to him because I would have said, Victor, just so you know, I have all of your kids and you're going to have a lot of shit to sign. <laughs> we got to do a lot of giveaway. <laughs> um, so screwing your top to the way, to, screwing your way to the top um, should be respectable. Uh, no, I'm like, look, the screwing part, I'm going to leave out of it. Do I think it is appropriate? No. Do I think it's classy? No. Would I ever do it? No. But I don't think that's, I mean, I guess it factors in because it definitely gives Corey a reason to want to fight to keep her in the game. I mean, I just don't know. Like... I, I'm just saying I see the argument that people make where they say Nicole did not have to fight for her. She did not have to fight for her safety for most of this game because that's how good her social game was. Personally, I don't see it as her social game being good. I see it as there were such bigger targets in the house and you literally did nothing. So why would anyone waste their time going after someone who does nothing? But I love how I'm having this argument with myself. But, but the flip flip side to that is, I mean, anybody could have done that. Like, can you really fault her for that if that's all anybody had to do? So then in theory... All Paul had to do was just lay in bed all day then. Just lay in bed all day. You would have been under the radar and not had to worry about anything. Yeah, I. It's such a catch-22. I'm just saying I think I'm a very open-minded person, and I'm not going to say Nicole uh, did literally nothing. She didn't literally do nothing. I don't say she won five comps either. I think two were given to her. So I'm going to say she won three comps and she was able to get guys like Polly to do a lot of her dirty work for her. And she was able to convince Paul to take her to final two. So those are good moves on Nicole's um, end. But again, not a game I respect. Not a game that I think deserves $500,000. I would much rather see a Paul who worked his ass off. Because, honestly, we're also making a TV show. We're also making a TV show. We need it to be entertaining. We need to entertain the feedsters and the whatever. But then again, not that anybody cares, this is why you wouldn't like if I played the game. Because anybody watching this, if in the future you want to go and be on Big Brother... The biggest thing that you need to know to win is stop trying to make a television show and do what's best for your game. But what's best for your game kills the feeds and the show. Just notice how a lot of the winners are all people who suppress drama, aren't really huge feed personalities, don't really fuel flames. That's what you kind of have to do in a way to win Big Brother. What is Jersey Girl said? Uh, Jersey Girl says, well, she didn't get her hands dirty in the traditional sense of the game. I'm pretty sure she she got pretty uh, dirty doing something else. Ooh, you think, you think, yeah, probably. Probably Jersey Girl. Sad Yvette, who already had a chance, wins 500K. It is sad. It definitely is sad. Um, 
It definitely is sad. Now, here's a great example. Let's look at what Paul said. Did you guys see what Paul said um, on Twitter yet? Uh, I wish there was an easier way for me to do this. All right, let me try doing it this way. All right, it's probably going to be hard for you guys to read, but I will read it for you, and it's much shorter. Well, it doesn't look it, but here is what uh, Paul said, not on Twitter, on Instagram, on social media. When did he say it? I don't know. I think earlier this morning. So Paul says, holy fucking guacamole. First off, I literally cannot comprehend all this love and support. I'm so overwhelmed, I can't believe it. Next, congratulations on your win, Nicole. It was a brutal season and you earned it. Now, let's get a few things straight. I don't care what anyone says. Whether I took Nicole or James, I was going to lose either way. I thought I was going to win out, but unfortunately, Jerry clearly pissed when keeping things real goes wrong. But guess what? Ya boy never cared. If I stayed true to myself and only won 50k, then so be it, because I wouldn't change a damn thing about me for 500k. Money doesn't bring me happiness. Living life to the fullest does, and Lord knows I'd trade 500k for all the positivity, love, and support from all my fucking badass friends any day. Thank you for believing in me. Thank you for supporting Dead Skull Apparel. Thank you for seeing all the good in me. I can't wait to meet every single one of you forever humbled much love and of course always friendship I love him that is a personality of a person that I would uh, be friends with or associate with in real life and then on top of that to have that personality be somebody who also worked so hard in the game and not win it, honestly it made me really sad to read that earlier and I'll let you all in on a little secret I swear I'm trying not I I totally realize it's coming off as douchey about this FaceTime call. <laughs> I swear, the whole reason for the FaceTime call was to get them to come on here for you guys. But what is a little bit, which I'm saying now to be funny, I my inner monologue talking to Paul was uh, smile and be happy. I felt so bad. And I, I was like, don't say anything about Nicole. Don't even mention it. Why are you going to bring up something negative? And I was like sad. Like I felt bad. Like I was talking to him and I almost wanted to cry and be like, I feel like you were just robbed of $500,000 that would change your life. But I didn't say that. I was just like, oh my God, ball is so cool to see a dead skull. I was like happy. But the whole time I was like, hmm. I feel so bad for you. Now, I will also say, Paul, as somebody... How do I put this? I think people that have money in life, like people that are doing well or okay financially in life, are the ones who find it very easy to say, I wouldn't trade 500k for all of the blah blah blahs in life. That's very easy to say when you have money. Somebody like me, who has to ride his bike around now, <laughs> can pretty much tell you, I'm a, I would give up a, a digit. I would give up a finger. If somebody came to me right now and was like, if you cut off your index finger, we'll give you $500,000. I would be like, oh my god, that could so much change my life, you can take my finger. <laughs> take it, have it. I don't know what you're going to do with it. I hope you're not going to do Nicole and Corey stuff, but... Um, but yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, Paul's a good person. And here's why I love Paul, too. Because Paul had money, and because Paul, you know, we don't know that Paul has money, but I'm going to guess. It seems like they have a very nice house, and he has a clothing line, and is doing a lot of amazing things. Because of that, he took Nicole. He, I think, would have won hands down against James, but he wanted to bring a person he thought was a better person and deserved it more, even if it meant he lost. I definitely respect that a lot. 
um, about Paul. And we all know Paul does a ton of charity stuff. He works with kids a lot. I'm so happy that Paul was runner up because I think he is going to do so much good for people. I think he is going to bring so much attention to charities. I can't wait to see all the amazing stuff Paul is going to do. So anyway, um, but now he knows Nicole wasn't going to take him and he's not happy with her. Good, he shouldn't be happy with her. Hey, well, this is what I'm saying. Nobody in the jury and nobody in the house knew anything. Now, Paul has woken up to what a lot of us know about Nicole. Is that she only cares about herself? Only cares about herself. If I won Big Brother... I, and I think I've said this, I think I've said this all to you a million times. Um, I would never ever play Big Brother because I like my friends and my family too much. However, the only thing that could ever make me play Big Brother was if I went in knewing a platform I wanted to support, like a charity, like I would love to play and talk a lot of time about mental health issues and stuff like that. But then if I somehow miraculously won, all my finale interviews, which you all, again, like I, said, look, I told you, you would all hate me. I would go on, it would be like a giant marketing commercial for me if I went on that show. <laughs> but in all my exit interviews, I would be like, and support this charity and this place. And you have such a big platform for a week, you should be using it to do good. Anyway, this is boring. Nobody cares. Y'all must have money. <laughs> Everyone says Cody is stupid for taking Derek, but Nicole is a terrible person for taking the person she feels she can win against, says Sammy Sam. Uh, no, that's not why Nicole's a horrible person. I was very clear why Nicole's a horrible person. <laughs> she treats her fans like shit. She only wants to make money off of them. Um, and what are my other reasons? I really don't want to talk about charity stuff. Um, but, you know, she's not great on that end either. And, uh, what else? Why is she shitty for wanting to take Paul? Um, because she didn't know. Because she would expect Paul to take her, but it was never a question that she would take James. And I get it. It's within the rules of the game. That's what you're there to do. So fine. No, you are right taking emotion out of it, you should not fault her for taking the person she knows she can win against. You are correct. I'm sorry. I am biased when it comes to Nicole. You have to let me process it through for a minute. <laughs> Thank you, David Phelan, for the bars. Um, I just closed Paul and asked if I wanted a follow. I don't know what that means. Can we give Nicole another 500k to never go back to being a nurse again? I don't think Nicole will go back to being a nurse again. I'd be surprised. I feel douchey for saying I want a woman to win, and now I'm angry at Natalie for not making it happen, says Seattle Jen. I'm trying to find the things to be happy about about a Nicole win, so... Oh, one of them is I'm happy a girl finally won. Am I thrilled with the girl who won? No. But I'm happy uh, a girl won. Positive. She'll never play Big Brother again. I know. And we'll never see her again. I told all of you. I, remember, and now Nicole fans, don't hate me for this. I mean, you shouldn't hate me for this. People ask me if I had to choose between Nicole and James, who would I who would I vote to win or who would I want to win? I picked Nicole because I knew she would take the money and disappear and never be seen again. And that's what's going to happen. <laughs> Girl, bye. <laughs> Um, Momo, what was his gift to Nicole? I don't know. I didn't watch. Yeah, does anyone know? Um, loved your show last night. Thanks for the laughs at the craft. I'm glad you liked it. Um, my choice for a girl in this season would have been Bridget or Natalie. Yeah. I would have took Mrs. Jenkins. Anybody else. Whoever is running her Twitter has posted. Oh, that's her mother. Her mother runs her Twitter. Whoever is running Nicole's Twitter account has posted. Has anyone heard anything from Paulie yet? I've heard from Paulie, yes. 
Um, I've heard from Polly. Polly will be on the show. So yay, Polly's gonna be here again. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. I'm just, I'm gonna, I know we're gonna be having very divisive people on this show. So again, I'm just gonna remind all of you, I don't have these people on this show for me. We don't really get anything out of having them on the show. <laughs> I have them on the show. The reason I created Reality Recaps was so that you guys could interact with the reality people that you like for free. That is always the main goal. Ergo, anyone that comes on, including Polly, are coming on to talk to their fans. Now, does that mean I won't ask him harder questions? Sure I will. But I'm just saying, if you are a Polly hater, you might not want to come to that show. I don't think it's going to be the show for you. Plus, if anyone, not just Polly, literally anyone tells me, Eric, we don't want to talk about blah, blah, or blah, I don't talk about it. It's not what we're about. I'm just laying that out there now. Um, but yes, Polly will be coming on this show. Everyone deserves a fair shot when they get out of the house. Nicole and James. Nicole and James blew theirs their first time. I'm opening to give Polly his second chance. And that is very true. That is always what my uh, goal is, is to always let people see the other side of people maybe they didn't get to see in the house and that has been my whole dilemma this season is unfortunately i've already seen what nicole and james are like outside of the house and i don't like it <laughs> so that's why it was a hard season for me to cover i don't feel i have to give them a second or third chance i know what their personalities are i've seen how they treat fans so i'm not a fan um hayden's face had the circle with the line through it i don't know what that means um, oh, and, oh, and don't get me wrong, we're gonna make fun of Polly for stuff. I don't mean to say we're all gonna be, like, butt-kissy Polly. We're definitely gonna make fun of Polly for stuff. Like, trust me, there will be a nice little butterfly that floats by this screen when we're doing the Polly interview. But am I gonna sit there like Barbara Walters and be like, why do you hate women? No. <laughs> will I be like, have you been to New Jersey yet? Have you stopped in any place in New Jersey that has women? <laughs> I'll probably ask a question like that. I'll be like, have you have you been on the Jersey Turnpike yet? Has anyone thrown any tomatoes at you? What's life like? You home yet, Polly? What's going on? What's happening? Have you been to your gym? Has there been a decline in female uh, female subscribers there? <laughs> I'll ask questions like that. Um, I am Jersey Girl, and I will give him a second chance. I think everybody should give the non-returning players a second chance and at least hear them out. That's all I'm saying. I think everybody should just at least hear them out. It's the reason I say, yes, I am willing to have Michelle come on here, even though I'm still a little bit scared for my life. Um, I would I want to have the conversation with Michelle um, about the things that uh, she's done in the house and give her a chance to say her side of it, hopefully, if she wants to talk about it. And I think she will. Um, so Polly and Natalie relationship. So no Polly and Natalie relationship? Do you mean Polly and Zakia? Or do you mean... I'm confused. Michelle needs therapy. Oh, yeah, I Oh my god, the Michelle and Ian thing. I don't even want to show the video of it. I'll just paint the picture for all of you. Ian's a teacher, right? I mean, I get, like, I don't want to get into all these, like, social morality or whatever I'm trying to say issues. Um... It was just weird to me. Like, I felt that was really weird. And I don't know if I was... Had the type of job that he has that I would be happy that was on the internet. <laughs> so basically, it's like a drunk Ian in the hallway with his, like, shirt unbuttoned. Like, leaning up against the door. He's like, oh, Michelle, I so much, Michelle. And then it's like kissing Michelle on the head, on the head, on the head. 
but it's just weird. Like the, I mean, I guess now I don't want it to come off as if I'm like over exaggerating this. So now I just feel like I need to show you. Um, but um, but um, but um, but um, but um, here I'll just show you it. It's just it seemed weird to me. Is all I'm saying. Why don't I see it now? Was it deleted? Oh, I guess it was deleted. Was it deleted? It was Devon who tweeted it, but now it's gone. Mm. Let me look one more plate. No, I don't see it anymore. If somebody, okay, if you guys have it, then you can tweet me it, and I'll and I'll show. Somebody tweet it to me now, and I will uh, play it. Oh, it's on her. Inst All right, can somebody just still tweet me it though? <laughs> I I have Twitter open. We're not getting robot voice. I don't want to open anything else. <laughs> don't want to open another program. We're doing so well with stuff not crashing. Now I don't think it was staged. I just think Ian was drunk. But it was just kind of funny, because it was just very... What did I miss, Eric? Are you going to post this show, too? Of course I am, Powerwolf. We're talking about all the stuff that's happened on Twitter today. Uh, how about Rob's question to Corey with goat and fire in the question flew right over his head? Oh, I missed it. I don't... I didn't watch it. I didn't watch uh, Rob's interviews. I... I, in having my diary room session, will be completely honest with you. I don't really like to watch anybody's backyard interviews because it makes me depressed. <laughs> it makes me depressed to know that it's really not anything we'll probably ever get to do. Okay, here, um, okay, so here we go. I got the Ian thing. Okay, uh, maybe we'll have audio? I'm not sure. So look at this amazing so moment that I have captured. Yes. <laughs> or is it Dawn? Are they I hot? They are Fine. so hot. So look at this amazing moment that I have captured. Yes. <laughs> or is it Dawn? Are they I hot? They are Fine. so hot. So look at this amazing moment that I have captured. So there you go. I don't have my headphones in, so I don't I don't know if you guys could hear it or not. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm just old. It just, it seemed like drunken, wasted, hallway, unbuttoned shirt. I don't know. It, I didn't, it was weird to me. It, it was weird to me. It was just weird to me. <clears throat> I agree, B. I agree, B. Kind. I much rather, um, I much rather prefer having people on here for a much longer time than going there. I'm not saying the Ian thing is right or wrong. I'm not, like, judging Ian. Somebody asked me about it. I'm just showing you a thing. I'm saying, for me, I felt like it was weird. I feel like them... I, I'm saying I feel like them two together is weird. It's just, like, a weird pairing to me. Like, they don't seem like two people that I would ever see being, like, dating each other. I don't know. Uh, Paulie didn't know who Rob C. was and definitely was pissy at him. Uh, you're not sober if you're walking around with a fully unbuttoned shirt. I don't know. She was crushing on him and he sees... Oh, I'm not gonna... No, I... No, I don't think he's trying to take advantage of her. Uh, wait until she flips on him. Like, <laughs> psycho she is. Well, you know. Ian better change his number and address quite... Oh. <laughs> Hmm. Let's wait until after Michelle comes on and then we'll say more oh, oh what we think about her. <laughs> People have been teasing him about her all summer. Yeah, I know. Uh the first the the first few seconds of the video. They're both quirky, right? They're both uh they're both quirky. Um team ja Okay, what were the other things that we needed to talk about from uh what happened today? So, oh, Let's, I should have saved a bunch of this stuff. Um, 
I wanted to show you guys the James with Natalie. Oh, Nicole is still a little bitter banana about Johnny Mac. She needs to let that one go. Oh, and Christine. I need to tell you guys about Christine. I need to tell you about, um, I need to tell you about Christine, and I need to tell you about, uh, Nicole and Johnny Mac. So, if anybody has the uh, James, Natalie, and James's kid photo, and you want to tweet it for me, I will pull that up as well for the people that, you know, want to see that. So, I just want to quickly also remember, I tweeted it out before, but um, I know a lot of people are like, where's Christine? Where's Christine? Where's Christine? And I'm like, you're right, Christine's been MIA for a while. Um, I had a chat with her tonight, and she specifically told me to tweet out and um, let you guys know that she is doing just fine, that she loves all of you. Um, she is taking a break from social media. No, it has nothing to do with Nicole, but she promises um, next month she will come on to our show. And she will let you guys know uh, what everything that's been going on in her life. So that's all I'm going to say about that. And I'm going to wait until she comes on and let her fill you guys in on what's been going on. But she loves you and misses you guys. And she's okay. She's totally fine. Um, I rewatched her depression show recently and I think of her. Thanks for the update. Yuppo. How's Jace doing? Jace who? Uh, Rob's backyard question to Corey regarding Snake, saying, I can bring Corey to the end. He'll be a goat, or did you feel like she'll be playing with fire? Oh, that's funny. That's funny. That's a funny question. Um... What, okay, so what happened with Johnny Mac? Nicole did an interview um, earlier today. I can read it to you guys if you missed it. I'm not going to read the whole interview, but I'll read you the question. Because she addresses the people that hate her. <laughs> it is so hard to do this on here. I can't see my holes. I only get like half the screen so to keep like sliding back and forth to try and see... Uh, what I'm looking at. Okay, where... Where is it? Where is it? Where is our Nicole? Um, Meg? Oh, wait! I found this. I meant to do this yesterday. Let me just do this because I'm scrolling past it right now. I want to do a super duper special congratulations to at Reality Freak and G... D, two, B, which is good to be, <laughs> Queen, and Amanda A, you all are the top three winners of the Trash Draft. So congratulations to you, Trash Draft winners. I meant to tell you guys that earlier. Why can't I find... Oh, got it. Found it. Okay, here we go. Well, Nicole is an image. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so here we go. The Hollywood... Uh, I don't know. I can't make it any bigger, and I have a feeling you guys aren't even going to be able to read this, but you tell me if you can read it or not. I really can't make it any bigger. Uh, let me move it over. Let's go... Do, 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 do. Okay, so where is it? Where is it? Okay. What's with the feud between you and Johnny Mac? Johnny Mac put in his bio that he didn't like me. I don't know if there's a feud, but he doesn't like me, Ian Terry, and Dan Geesling, apparently. And I was sandwiched between two winners, and now I'm a winner. <laughs> it hurts my feelings, obviously, when I read his bio. Yes, Nicole, we are aware that you care what everyone thinks of you almost as much as you care what nobody thinks of you. It's like a weird bipolar thing that you have going on. 
Okay, then, do, 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 um, what, uh, why do you think there are, there were fans who were huge fans of you in season 16, and this time may not be your biggest fan? They can take me, I'm sorry, why am I answering like this? They can take me or leave me at this point. I just know that if I came in and played the exact same game, I wasn't going to make it that far. So I gave Corey lots of blowjobs to be my meat shield. Oh no, that's not what it says, sorry. Um, it's not that I changed anything about me at all. I've always been feisty. I myself, I'm very passionate about this game. Everyone loves an underdog. And I was an underdog in 16, and this time I came out a little bit stronger. You came out stronger, all right, honey. Came out stronger. It's like, you know, when you have like um, a hand surgery and you have to squeeze the tennis ball to build up your hand muscle? She came out stronger, all right? Came out real stronger. Um, What else did she say? Where are the one where all the other people say they don't like her? She has good answers on this one, too. Um, but um, bum 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 bum. <laughs> what do you say about alumni like Evil Dick, uh, Janelle, Rachel Riley, who weren't the biggest fans of yours this season? Oh my god, I didn't know that. What can I even say about it? I don't know my edit. I don't know what it is that's on the show. It all comes down to your edit. I'm sorry, just one moment. It all comes down to your edit, super fan. Really? Really, super fan? Uh, as a super fan, I could tell you I give two dick shits about what the edit of the show is. We all care about what happens on the live feeds. And again, I am not saying, even though I am not a Nicole fan, that the way that you act in the game is how you are in real life. It is not how you are in real life. I'm just saying, don't act like we were judging you on a bad edit. We saw the whole entire scope of your game. Involved you being in bed. Um... If I was here to please everyone, there is no way anyone can like you. There were people who came in every single day and would talk about playing for America's Favorite. I obviously wasn't playing for America's Favorite. I'm totally hinting about James. <laughs> Did I mean James? Can I, take the, can I take the attention off of me? Oh, so then the reporter says, uh, do you think James was? He mentioned it daily, so I don't know. He mentioned it often and literally told me and Paul today, if you guys don't take me, I'll be America's favorite. And then the reporter says, what do you think about conspiracy theories about you and James having a preseason alliance? He didn't vote for you to win, so it can't be true. Nicole says, right, people seriously, I swear on everything. I had no idea he was going to be on this season. Anybody who knows me knows I would never spend any time talking on the phone to an Asian. Oh, I don't like talking to regular white people, but I would never talk to an Asian or anybody, especially fans. That's ridiculous. Fact, that's what happened. <laughs> He's not Asian, right? He's South Korean? North Korean? I don't know. Um, uh, were you surprised about Devon's vote? Yes, it means you deserved it. What's the future like for you and Corey? I don't know. What do you plan on doing with the money? I don't know. Much like your jury answers? I don't know. Uh, where do you think you rank as a winner? So that's about it. Those are all the things Nicole talked about. Oh, that's in Asia. Oh, good. He's an Asian. I'm smart. I went to Catholic school. We didn't learn about, like, anything other than the Bible. God did it. That was always the answer. Where are Asian people from? God. Where do French people come from? God. How many continents are there? However many God wanted. <laughs> um... She'll figure it all out when she hits the internet and it'll bug her, but game over. She'll she'll soon be forgotten. Uh no, she won't care. Trust me. I really don't see her. Here's what I here's what I would suspect uh would will happen. I have a feeling she's probably talking to Andy, and uh Andy is like probably being honest with her and being like, look. Lots of people aren't happy. I suggest you just stay off social media. 
and I don't think she ever had an intention to go on social media anyway, and now that she knows that, she's not even going to be curious to. Um, then why did she ask her mom, was I a bra- Oh, she wants to know from the people in her life, but like everything, Nicole doesn't want to do any work. She wants someone else to tell her if she was portrayed as a brat. Do you think Nicole's going to do the work to find out if she's a brat? She just wants to take the credit for knowing the answer. So want to have to actually work. <gasps> Wambulance, thanks for being the number one fan. Thank you for the bars, Wambulance. I very much appreciate that. Thank you. Um, at least she won't be the reigning winner for long with OTT. I know. So while she gets to be the only winner to ever win against a guy, she also gets to be the winner with the shortest reign ever. Enjoy. <laughs> you get to be the you get to be the Big Brother winner that everyone talks about for 10 weeks. And then, never cared. So enjoy it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, so whatever. I So it's just bleh. Did anyone ask Nicole if she knows what Corey and her did under the covers on YouTube? No, no one's going to ask her that. Saw something about Corey and Polly trying to sell their picture. I didn't see that sparkly eye. Here's here's what I did. And and you know what else I'll say? And and we all we love Glenn, by the way. We really do love Glenn. As much as Glenn is Glenn and bless his little Glenn heart. I think Bl Glenn has a really big heart. He might be a touch on the, you know, doodly doo side, but Glenn has a big, big heart, and Glenn is the reason uh, that we got to talk to um, Paul and to Victor and uh, Michelle and, uh, well, th those people, yes, but I've also talked to uh, Paulie. Basically, I made sure to get the people uh, already on board that I know you guys are going to want to hear from. So Bridget, we're pretty much on a lock for everyone. Obviously, I don't see any way Nicole's coming on this show, and James might. James might. I pretty much think we'll have everybody but Nicole. And then I'm going to put out a nice big PSA on how Nicole not coming on this show is a great example of why I don't like her. And I'll tell all my Nicole stories, and then I'll post it on Twitter and say, America's most loved Big Brother winner, and why we love her so much. I'll include, like, anonymous stories that people send me via email about the things she's done to them. P.S. <laughs> P.S. Because I know a lot of people have done that all season, I'm totally kidding. There have been a lot of people who have sent me stories about ways Nicole has screwed them over. I would never, ever share those stories. Don't worry. Don't worry. I was totally kidding. Um, oh my god, I just tweeted Paul. I hope he tweets back. Me too, poofy poof. Uh, Paulie admitted to proposing to someone before going into the house. I, I think so, maybe? Uh, when are you gonna have Paul and Victor on? Not sure. Uh, and go to July 4th where you were talking about it. Oh, that show doesn't exist anymore. It was on, it was here on you now. Oh, I just thought of another fun thing that I can show you guys. I don't know if it's something that a majority of you are going to be like, oh my God, we love it, but maybe somebody will. So for those of you asking, for those of you asking, Paul Victor... Oh, yeah, Nat Natalie is definitely... Uh, Natalie is definitely... I'm just gonna... I gotta do it this way. I can't do it on there. Natalie is 100% going to come on this show. You don't need to worry about that. Natalie does not live far away from me. We, we might even be able to have Natalie come on the show in person. Okay, so, for those of you asking, which I know is a whole, like, ten of you... Mm -hmm. You can't really see it that well. But that will most likely end up being our little You Now sticker. 
That'll most likely... Well, I will say... Uh, it, it's not officially official because I said, why do I have to look angry? It's comedic recaps. Do people not know that when I'm angry, I'm not really angry. I'm doing it for comedic uh, effect. Like right now, this is for me to confect because watch, I can switch right to this in two seconds and say how funny something is. And then I can switch right back to this and be angry. It's called acting and comedy. But I don't understand why I have to be drawn as angry. So I said, could you please draw me with a smile? <laughs> so they're going to come back with a smiley one. So that'll be one of the fun things that you get, uh, that all, that you'll get uh, it, if you subscribe here on you now, along with being able to watch all of our shows back. You'll get a, a fun sticker of me. <laughs> it's kind of really creepy. <laughs> uh, next week. It'll be next week. It'll be next week. John doesn't get a character. How about that? John doesn't get one. Actually, that's not true. That's not true. J oh, I don't have it here. John is technically in the bad sticker. He's technically in the TV in the bad sticker. John does not uh, do enough shows on uh, EU Now to get a sticker, apparently. I did try. Um, how can you tolerate Natalie's baby voice long enough to have her on your show? I don't know. You know what's kind of crazy? If you don't like somebody, don't watch. Last time I checked, nobody was chaining you to this show and holding your eyes open. You might enjoy life more. You don't like something? Go do something else. <laughs> Uh, there's a happier version of that sticker and picture. Oh, I have not been a patron. Yeah, I was a patron a little bit today, of the patron group a little bit today at Rizzo. I'm getting to be the worst. I think I just want to say I'm never going to be in the patron group. I wish patrons understood how guilty I feel that I just... I swear I'm not eating bonbons. I swear I'm working nonstop that I never have time to really get in the pa the patron group as much as I want. But it is more for you guys than me. It basically, when you become a patron as far as the group goes, you're basically buying my best friend. It basically gives you my best friend. He's in there all the time. He has no life and just travels the world five star. So it's like the least you can do is be in that face patron group. So he's in there all the time. I'm basically giving you my best friend as one of your patron perks. <laughs> um, and Terrence is the king of the patron group. I am in there. I don't want to make it seem like I'm not in there. I am in there. I just always feel guilty that I'm not in there as much as I feel like I should be in there. Um, but I will, I will make it back in there. I want to see the other version. I will say, I have a feeling, I'm not even looking yet, but, you know, I sent that picture to Giselle, and she came back to me and said, really, with pants? So, I'm going to go out on a limb and say, if there's some new version of that sticker, it probably isn't wearing pants. Which, just saying, oh, I can't move, I'm in this little box. Same thing. <laughs> no pants. We're only from the waist up. <laughs> uh, as long as he doesn't move in with me. Yeah, no problem. Uh, patrons asked about the pants. I'm not surprised at Rizzo. Natalie was robbed. No. Don't get me wrong. I love Natalie. I think Natalie is a great person. I love that she is sticking true with James, and she seems to be all about it. But um, not for me. She she wasn't my favorite player. I love her as a person, but if we're gonna say favorite and we're gonna uh, assume that that means uh, one, then no, she is not my favorite. Victor, I think, is my favorite. Oh, good. Thank you, Rod Carson. I remembered to go back to that. Thank you, Rod Carson. So here is the photo of Natalie and um, James. And oh my God, why can I not remember what James's baby name is? B B uh, Bailey. I knew it was a B. I knew it was a B. Bailey. So they're all together. They're all together. Natalie sucks eggs. We finally agree on something. I don't agree with you on that. I don't think Natalie sucked. I don't think our little Nat Nat sucked. 
happy family. Yeah, they do. I, I, I am happy for them. If they're happy, I'm happy. I think if anybody can make, I think if anybody can make James a um, better person, for lack of a better term, I feel like it would be Natalie. I feel like Natalie could get James to be, you know, more better with fans, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Glenn came in fourth. He did. I did hear that. I heard Glenn came in fourth. I also heard that from Glenn. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> I kind of have a feeling... <laughs> I kind of have a feeling Glenn was like, Producers, who, what was I? What place was I? Producers, what place was I? What, what place was I? What place? Was I a high place? What place was I? Was I a high place? I thought I was the best highest place in the whole entire world. And the producer's like, yes, Glenn, you were fourth. <gasps> Thank you! I knew it! <laughs> I love Glenn. I love him. He is like the nicest, nicest, sweetest person. I just, I think it, like, part, it's funny to me how much he, like, love, 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 loves the game when, yeah, I, oh God, it sounds mean when I say it, how much he loves the game, but didn't really get to play it. But I love how much he wants to play it again. I don't know the way to say that and not make it sound mean. Because I don't mean it mean. Glenn should be Charlie's new groomer. Oh, can I hook that up? Can I make that happen? I would love to make that happen. Oh, I hear you, Camila. <laughs> I hear... Oh, damn it. I meant to decline that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, he looked anxious on the stage. When I, I honestly feel bad for the whole pre-jury. I feel bad that the whole entire pre-jury um, di uh, didn't get talked to at all. That sucked. Uh, so many people are like, why isn't Jose doing interviews? Why isn't Jose doing interviews? Because he's being sequestered. He's not allowed to talk to anybody. God forbid somebody that was interviewing him found out somehow some twist or anything. God forbid, forget about even a twist or a surprise. Imagine if somebody who was interviewing to him said, oh my God, are you excited for the safety nut ceremony? And now Jose is going to be going into the house with more information than everybody else has. It's just not fair. It would, you know, it, they can't. They just, they can't. They can't have somebody that's going to be on the show or have an opportunity to be on the show um, talk to the public. It just would not be fair. He looks like it look looks like Jason has more votes than Jose. I couldn't imagine Jason doesn't have more votes than Jose. I will tell you right now, and now this seems so stupid that I, even as an adult that I'm saying this, and I've never really felt this before. This has been the first season I have not really cared for a season of Big Brother, which was really odd to me. This has also been the first time where I've... I guess that's not true. I was definitely almost sad, depressed almost. Thank you, Camila, for the bars. Uh, with Vanessa going out third last season. But I always feel bad for the third place person. I really felt bad this season as well um, for Paul. And I don't know if I will be able to handle if Jason doesn't make it on, is my point of saying this. I feel like it's been like upset after upset after upset after nothing that we want to happen happens. It's just become very depressing and very hard to be like, oh, baby, I love this season. It's the best when I hate it and it's not. <laughs> um, so Jason needs to make it on. And, and if it has not just been three months of every time us saying we know what's gonna happen happen... I mean, we know what's going to happen, that we all want to happen, not happen. I'm just a little bit jaded on it. 
I, I can't. I, so then I try and think, why would production want Jazay on? He was not in the top three of the favorite. Yes, he made good feeds. You could argue maybe he made better feeds than Jason, but I still think Jason is way more entertaining and does way more stuff online and on social media than Jose does. I, I really hope production wants Jason. And I just feel like Jason has the fan base to make it happen. Let's see how many Twitter followers Jason has. Not that that means anything, but let's see. How many Twitter followers does Jason have? Jason has... Why am I here? Uh, okay, so he has 70,000 Twitter followers. And how many does Jose have? That's it? <laughs> Jose has 9,600. Unless this is the wrong Jose. <gasps> Jose... Jose used my picture. Oh, that little Jose. I didn't even know. Little bastard didn't even give me any credit. Okay, now I definitely don't want Jose to win. You know how long it took me to Photoshop that photo, Jose? So here's Jose's last tweet. You'll notice the reflection off the Jose picture that I made. You, you want me to, you want me to promote you, but you can't even be like, ooh, I love this picture that Eric made. So by the way, said picture, Jose, I got to sign for all of you, and I will be turning it in to a Jose uh, prayer candle. Signed by Jose, which will be one of the giveaways that we will be doing this week. Jose, let's tweet out my picture, that's all. You are welcome for that picture, that's all. Jersey Girl was there for me with that. As a matter of fact, I think I'm more mad that Jose delayed Jersey Girl and I from going to dinner for an hour. So you should not vote him, you should not vote for him for that reason either. Jose made us wait around. Jersey Girl and I were like, we just want to go to dinner. We gotta wait for Jose. Gotta get the stupid candle picture signed for the fans. <laughs> I, I'm kidding. I could care less about the credit. I'm just trying to find any reason to get people to vote for Jason over him. <laughs> I want Jason on. Um, can we put a little voodoo magic into it so Jason won? I just, again, I really don't see any reason why Jose would win over Jason. Just based on the amount of fans that they have, the amount of stuff Jason does for fans, the amount of interaction they both do. Um, the only thing Jose has going for him is that he was just on recently. I think Jason got this. I think Jason got it. I do recent bias. <laughs> I know. Uh, Jason is smart and funny. Jose is delusional. Both are funny, though. Yeah, okay, David Thielen, you are about to go in timeout. I will timeout you. Um, <clears throat> I am curious what Jason would say about how Devon voted. Well, we're going to have to wait a long time to find out. I don't want to know the answer until Christmas. Jason can let me know this holiday season. You know Jason will be on here first. You know Jason's going to get out that house and he is going to pull his car up right here. We will get all the tea when it's over. If, you know, if not, doing shows, you know, from the house. Jason is well aware of what time, you know, we go live. You never know. He might contribute to our shows from the house. You never know what could happen. 
Two days worth of voting for Jason here. Good job, Cindy. <sighs> oh my God. I just thought of something. I just thought of something. Okay, now please, everybody, don't get all like, oh my God, I already didn't know me. This is why I hate doing giveaways. Although I really don't feel like a lot of people in our chat rooms will do that. I will make a tweet about this tomorrow. But starting tomorrow, anybody that tags me in a tweet do not email me. <laughs> Anybody that tags me in a tweet showing me that you voted for Jason, I will put in to win an autographed Oh My Lanta Jason shirt. I am up the anteing. I am up the anteing on um, the winning of a Jason shirt, which, by the way, I will also let you know. It, if you care about such things, it has the stain from Jason's, I believe, rum and coke on it. This is where Jason's tiny little Jason hands held the shirt <laughs> when he was autographing it. And uh, I think it was Adam had just bumped into him and he spilled the drink all over his hand. And uh, he got it on the shirt. And he was like, oh my god, we need to get it out of the shirt. And I was like, no, are you kidding me? Some creeper is going to be like, oh, I want Jason's stain on my shirt. <clears throat> oh, no, I'm sorry. Let me be... Uh, does it show you how many times you voted in a row? Or does it only just say, thank you for voting? There's a, I know you can only vote 20 times. No, don't tag me 20 times in a tweet. When you have vote... Oh, it does show you how many times you voted in a row? So in other words... Oh my God, I love our chat room. It's always yes and no at the same time. <laughs> oh, it says you have 13 votes left. Perfect. Thank you. Who told me that? Be hoot. Fine. Here is what you have to do. You have to show me that you have zero votes left, and I am going to assume... That you are an honest person, which means you will have used all 20 votes on Jason. But I need to see that you voted for Jason and you have zero votes left. That is how you will be entered. In oh, wait. Most important part. Is there a... Uh, what can our hashtag be? Because that's how I'm going to have to search these. We need a hashtag. What do we want our hashtag to be? What size is the t-shirt? The t-shirt is a large. Uh, I don't want to make it YRRJ. I want it to be something that lets CBS know we want Jason. Okay, I like Jason for B-O-T-T. -T. Let's make it hashtag Jason. I got to write this down so I use it in my graphic. Good job, UTSA Jennifer. So it'll be hashtag... Jason, I'm going to make it the number for B-O-B-B-O-T-T. -B -B so the hashtag will be, uh, da -da 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 -da. you can't see it because why would you be able to see it? So it is, I'll type it in the chat room. Oh, Angel Eyes did it. Thank you, Angel Eyes. So make sure in your tweet you use hashtag Jason for B-O-T-T. And just show me that you have zero votes left and you voted for Jason. And I'm going to assume you used all 20 on Jason. Because you are a good person and you wouldn't lie. Thank you. And then we will give away uh, to one of you Jason. And look, look, I'm telling all of you right now. If Jason wins, you know, I will let him know that all the Reality Recaps fans worked real hard to get him on that show. And I'm sure he will do something special for all of you. If he doesn't, I will feel guilty that I said this, and I will. <laughs> um, I am sure Jason will give us a bunch of stuff to give away to you guys, too. 
I had 17 votes for, that's fine. That is fine, whatever. Just, and, and you can do it once a day. I only want one hashtag a day showing me you have zero. You can do it every single day. Just make sure you use hashtag Jason, the number four, B-B-O-T-T, because that's what I'm going to have to search to put the stuff in the um, random generator. So 40 votes for Jason. Good job. Just to make it fair, I'm going to say I'm not starting it until um, midnight. Or until after the show. What's the shirt size? Large. Largity large. Other things that you will get with your Jason thing, I don't know if this is more of an incentive to you, you're going to get some of these delicious R.J. Mitchell chicken sticks. Obviously, I can't eat gum with my tooth, so I will also throw in some bubble, bubble, yubble bubbles, hubba bubbas, double bubbles. <laughs> I will throw in some generous candy from R.J. Mitchell as well. I mean, technically, I think the shirt's from R.J. Mitchell too. Oh, maybe not. Um, but you can... But just one entry into the drawing per person. Just one entry. No. You can send me or tag me in a tweet once a day showing me you used all that you have zero votes left for Jason. So in other words, there are five days left. You can tweet me five times showing me that you used all your 20 votes for Jason five times once per day. So you can have up to five entries in the Jason shirt giveaway. How do you tag a tweet? Uh, there's this thing called Google. You just, you just put your little question right in there and it pops it up. Did all the work for you right there. Well, any question you have of the whole world is right in that little search box. How do I make a tweet? You could learn how to do surgery if you really wanted to. Could learn how to robo vote too. <laughs> They're called Chick O Stick Greatest Southern Candy. I don't know if you saw the other day when I tried a Chick O Stick, it didn't end well. <laughs> Spoiler alert there was vomiting. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, were you happy with Nicole winning? K E M E U twenty eight wants to know. Of course I was. Bless her heart. That one winning so good of the season, such as great job doing it. Yay, friendship. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you're talking to Steve, a previous one. Oh, correct. Uh, I had such a nice talk with Steve's mom t uh, yesterday, actually. I love Steve's mom. Uh, and there comes the acting. <clears throat> was that acting? I was just purposely uh, skipping words. I mean my mom. I was talking to my mom. Not Steve's mom. My mom. I'm Steve. Write me. Hear me. I'm Steve. Oh, Steve's mom was here for my tirade last night. Oopsie. <laughs> Oopsie doodle. Uh, -da -da -da. Okay. What else do we want to say? What else am I missing on Twitter today? I feel like... I feel like there were other things that happened today on Twitter. I love Steve Mom, me too. You can't say anything about her. Just add bless her heart. I did, didn't I say bless her heart? I didn't even know bless her heart was a bad thing. Somebody told me that. I'm trying to scroll through my timeline and see what else uh, we missed. Vic's mom is, I love Vic's mom. Yes, I agree. I've been talking to Victor's mom this season. Um... Reality recaps, I voted for Jason. Great job, Holly B. <laughs> so, Nicole, how does it feel to have won Big Brother 18? 
do 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 do. Uh, do your tweet the net reality or outcast and uh, yep perfect I don't think it's a bad thing I say that every day I don't think it's a bad thing either Devon thinks she went she went too hard after Frank and Tiffany should have laid low and then let themselves destruct yeah you know, like too little too late you know what I mean hmm. uh, Nicole was on the talk don't know <laughs> literally wouldn't know. I'm just trying to scroll to see if there was anything else I was supposed to be telling you guys from today that you might have missed on Twitter. That's Rachel? There's no way that's Rachel. Hold on. I mean, I guess I see it. I think that's uh, Alyssa's son and Rachel. I don't even feel that looks like Rachel at all. It's Rachel and um, Alyssa's kid. Wow. Devon is getting a lot of heat. I know, but honestly, it really isn't her fault. She didn't know. She did not really know. Um, all right, I'm going to say I'm not really seeing anything else I need to be filling you all in on on Twitter. So, oh my God, we're almost at two hours. I will say let's spend uh, the rest of this show. Well, I say we'll go like 20 more minutes. You guys let me know uh, if there's anything you guys want to know about or if there's anything you want me to talk about. I will turn it over to all of you. Nothing is happening on Twitter yet. Party in a few hours. Mm-hmm. If there was less people in here, and I'm sorry, I, I, I apologize that I'm going to say this because this is literally the antithesis of what Reality Recaps is about. However, however, um... It's not at all about money. It's about the fact that there are dick bags on the internet. So I'm just going to say this. Patrons, remind me to let you all know about what I, about the party, about the party the cast is going to tonight. Remind me to tell you guys about that on Sunday show. And then I'll say, any of you patrons who are friends with non-patrons, you can officially, unofficial, share with them uh, what I said if you want. But it's just not something that I'm gonna say publicly and then let people go screen grab and spread all over the place. Um, so somebody just remind me to mention that. Paul just tweeted, it's your boy trying to figure this Twitter shit out. Give me a second. Well, step one, Paul, put down the beer. <laughs> step one, Paul, um, sober up. <laughs> and then you will be able to use the Twitter. Reasons I love Paul. I know I can say things like that and joke around about Paul and I won't get blocked. <laughs> it's called sense of humor. I would like to say, nobody has put more time into making anti-Nicole mashups, which I'm sorry were very funny. Squat and Fart was one of the funniest things. Comp Beast can't open a jar. That took a while to make. Those are funny. I'm just saying, it's a shame that she blocked me that she'll never get to see them. Do you know who the only other... I bet... Yeah, yourrealityrecaps.com slash patron. Oh, I'm sorry, I should have said that. If you guys uh, want to become patrons so you can have access to the patron, so you can sign up at yourrealityrecaps.com slash patron. It's just five bucks, and it's not like I'm being a greedy bastard. I uh, use it to keep doing all of our shows. We're trying to save to get our computer. We're past the halfway goal, um, thanks to our Amazon signups, but we still have a ways to go. Um, I would love to use that money to get my car fixed, but I promise I wouldn't, so I won't. Um, Paul would be a great uh, looking guy with a beard, and he has an without the beard, and he has an amazing personality. 
Oh, thank you, Ambulance. I very much appreciate that. I love that we can all hate Nicole. We really shouldn't hate. Now, damn it. What was I just going to say before I was saying patron? I totally had something I had to tell you. Oh, why can't I remember what I was saying? I have no short-term memory. Nicole said she wants to stay in touch with Devon, Bridget, Corey, and Polly. She didn't say, I, I don't care what Nicole wants. <laughs> I officially don't. I have to talk about Big Brother. I want to talk about Big Brother with all these people. I don't want to talk about Nicole. <laughs> I just want her to go away. <laughs> uh, yeah, da -da 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 -da. We'll remind you. Damn it. I wish I could remember what I was going to say because it was important. Your boy's trying to figure out Twitter. Where's the party being live streamed? It's not being live stream. Paul is 23 year old who just won 50K. I'd be drinking too. Yeah, Tara. Um, was Paulie as delusional on the phone? Paulie wasn't delusional. Um, you said the only two, I know, damn it. I don't remember what I was gonna say. I don't remember what I was going to say. I apologize. I don't. Okay, I need to add all these people on Snapchat. Well, check out our, our post. Uh, UrielRecaps.com slash BB18. Or just check my Twitter. I tweeted it out. We have most... We have all of their Twitters, except for Zakia's, is apparently wrong. And she doesn't have Twitter. But I know all the other ones are correct. And it has a lot of their Snapchats and Instagrams. Eric, you can keep this up. I can keep what up? Sakia forgave Polly and wants everyone to mind their business as of an article today. Okay. For the low, low price of $45, you can get an autographed photo of Polly on eBay. Oh, stop it. Is that really a thing? Is he really doing that? <laughs> Please don't tell me he's doing that. Is he doing that? Oh, God. Hi, it's Dina. Hey, it's Dina. Oh, my God. Really? You said Polly, right? I didn't read that wrong. You said Polly. Mm. Is it going to charity? <laughs> is it, is it, is the money going to charity? Wait, is this like a we heard it thing or somebody has a link to the auction? I'm going to need a link before I believe that it's true. If this is just somebody saying something I heard, somebody blur, 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 then I'm not going to believe it. The person selling it is selling. Oh, oh, okay. It's a person selling it. It's not Paulie selling it. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it, got it. Oh, Spring Curl, sa Spring Curl says check your phone. Okay, I want to say this. I will check my phone because it is Spring Curl's asking me to. Normally, when I'm doing a show, I don't ever check my texts. Okay. Corey Brooks signed autograph. What? Corey selling pics on eBay, $30, not even out of the house. Who the hell is this? Oh, whoa, well, don't want to show that. <laughs> uh, who is, who is, who's that baby? Does Corey have a kid? Okay, but is this actually Corey selling it? Yeah, I don't think these are the actual people selling them. These are somebody got the autographs from them and are selling them. These aren't the actual people selling them. So we can't fault them for people getting their autographs and selling them. It's not them doing it. I'm fine with that. People want to make a buck. I hope you all now appreciate. <laughs> oh, I guess we give it to the number one fan. To be fair, that is also like buying their autograph. But again, 
I use that money to keep Reality Recaps up and running. I also give away a lot of shirts and, and, and prizes for free, too. But when we have the house guests on, we also, we do do it that the number one fan uh, gets the prize. But I honestly, I do use that money towards computer and keeping Reality Recaps up and running. Um, Some guy named Rich on the way. Well, good for him. Honestly, good for him. I'm... I just don't want anyone to think so. Okay, so to be clear, it's not Polly doing it, and it's not Corey doing it. It's neither one of them doing it. It's a fan that got their autographs and is selling them on eBay. Hi, Zilla. On Twitter, it said they were working with the person. On Twitter, is said they are working with the person selling them. I don't know what that means. Paul is officially on Twitter. Yay! Um, Meech, because she stole everything. Paul is going to cost me lots of bars. Mm. One day I will have enough money to give you bars. So I can win one of those prizes. You can win prizes. You can win prizes for not doing bar stuff at all. You really can. I promise you can. You guys know we give a ton of stuff away to people who also don't do anything. But when it comes to the end of the Big Brother, and look, as you know, as you know, there can only be one number one fan, and we have lots of everything. So trust me, there will be people who have a chance to win it as well for free. But if you guaranteed want to win, then yes, you have to be the number one fan for a guaranteed one. But you also have lots of chances to win the stuff without donating anything, you freeloading bastards. <laughs> it's okay, my car's only $900 to fix. <laughs> and just remember, if you don't have money, prostitute yourself. <laughs> if you don't have money, no, seriously, if you don't have money, share our shows, like our shows, get your friends to watch our shows, make sure you're subscribed everywhere. That is, um, in a way, just as important um, as, the, as monetarily donating. Unfortunately, banks and bill payers don't take likes and retweets. I wish they did. I wish I could pay with sunshine, sunshine and kisses. <laughs> was so close to getting Meg's candy. Oh, we have to stop talking about this. I don't want to talk about this subject anymore. I swear it's almost why I don't want to do giveaways anymore. Because I feel so bad when I read the names of people that say they want to win stuff. And it's like, I know. I know you've been a fan for forever. And I wish I could give something to everyone. And I hate that I can't. It makes me feel so guilty. I wish you all knew the amount of the amount of guilt I feel that everyone can't win something. <sighs> um, I mean, honestly, here's, here, here's the real deal. <laughs> Let's get real for a minute. Nobody, you guys need to help me drive the price up during shows. I know everybody is smart. Everybody is smart and they just wait to the end to bid. Why are they going to fight the whole time? No. You all need to be fueling the fire. Not amongst all of yourselves. The new people. The people that are just coming. The people that are trying to swoop into the reality recaps and bump you all out. You don't have to take that. You need to be in the chat room being like, oh my god, crazy Victor fan 679, you're not going to win. Better dump some more bars in. And then just know that I'm also giving one away to not the biggest fan like the next day. Or honestly, I'll probably have given away all the free ones by then. So just do it for me because you owe me. <laughs> just drive the price up is what I'm saying. Not amongst the regulars. I don't want you to do it with the regular people that support us or in, or in any show. I'm talking about the little rich 16-year-old that just came in here with daddy's credit card. That one. Drive that price up. <laughs> <laughs> it's only 10 shows a year I do it. I do it on 10 shows a year. I only do it on the jury shows. Okay, I guess that's not 10. However many jury members there are, those are the shows I do it on. For the love of God, can we try and 
pay some odd damn bill. <laughs> Costs a lot of money. I need a new computer. <laughs> If one of you just wants to win the lotto, you can solve all my problems. <laughs> me, me, me. It's all I care about. You just call me Nicole. <laughs> um, I'm kidding. I am kidding. Uh, Jersey Girl pays me in chapstick, so... <laughs> there are several ways you can support her. <laughs> Which, this is the defunct chapstick because... I have been so stressed, you probably can't see it right now, but trust me, in the next three days, you're going to see it real good. I have giant fever sore. It's like, you know when you get the tingle? I'm past the tingle. I'm now on the lump. I'm going to go with by tomorrow or the next day, we'll have the full-blown uh, lip herpy from stress. <laughs> So I have to use the chapstick, and then I have to, like, swoosh the piece off. Like, Natalie, you're literally genuine, legitimately a good person. Oh, I don't know if I'm a good person, but I try and be. <laughs> I don't know if a good person would have said a lot of the stuff I said about Nicole. But I try and be a good person, and I try and be fair, and really I just try and be the voice of the people that don't have a voice. Really, at the end of the day, if it was me in my real life, I would not even breathe a word of Nicole's name ever to anyone ever, because that's how I handle things I don't like. I just don't focus my time. In general, focusing your time on stuff that you don't enjoy is a really stupid way to live your life. But I feel obligated for the people that don't have a voice uh, to have a voice about such things so that maybe it will make her act differently this go-round. So far, TikTok looks like it's not working. <laughs> kids, don't pick up balloons off the floor and blow them up. True story. I love you, but I was just kidding about Natalie. Oh, got it. <laughs> Comedic recaps. Eric, did you get my email last night? No. No, 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 no. I did not. I did not. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I'm legitimately going to be super duper crazy pretty much for the next seven days because I have so much I have to get done for the start of uh I have so much I have to get done to leave to go away for work and then Monday the cast is coming out and I just have that one day to try and get everything updated on the website and then I'm gone for three days so it's gonna uh be a, a crazy next week. So forgive me. I, I have to um, prioritize. Um, but I will try. I will try and get to email. Same PayPal. Oh, well, I very much appreciate that. Usually on Sundays before the patron show is when I go through and I see all the people that signed up for patrons, all the people that did PayPal. I always send out the thank yous and stuff for that on Sundays. But if, if I see it's like an email where like um, people are just sharing stuff with me, I usually hold those uh, for a while um, until I really have time to read them. Because I hate just skimming over an email when someone is sharing a story or something with me. I don't like to just skim it over. I like to like read it when I can really focus on it. And I know for the next week, I'm not going to be able to focus on anything, if that makes sense. I will definitely let you know, BB Princess. I will let you know. Do you know what your average age of viewership is? No, I don't. Nor do I care. Oddly enough. Eric, call the doctor. There's medicine that'll stop that from coming in. I know there is. I, um, I know there is. I know there is. Uh, patron was the word of the day at your school today. That's crazy, Zach. Thank you for making the frustration of BB a lot more tolerable. I'm glad you all liked it. Tomorrow we'll do our official recap show. We will officially officialize our recapping of the Big Brother season tomorrow. We did this on John's pre-Survivor show. I'm Gen X. Oh, fun. Where's Giselle? Probably too 
two boxes into it's it's Thursday night. She's probably two pizzas in and a half bottle of wine down in a cheap hotel room. <laughs> um, <laughs> will Jason or Jose be the only vets on Big Brother over the top? From what I am told, yes. From what I am told, no one else is a returning player. Random. What's the background with David Thielen? Oh my god, I am so glad that you asked. It's not something I like to talk about because it's more of like a myth or an urban legend the way that David Thielen came to be. But basically, he was forged in the fires of hell. He was one of Satan's offsprings that were sent to the earth. Um, to terrorize all of us. Somehow he found his way into our chat room, and for some reason, none of my blocks work. He has some anti-block um, something available that every time I block him, he is just un he is just able to unblock and troll and troll and troll and troll. And I just had to give up. I just had to accept him as the nemesis that he is, much along the lines of Giselle. Like they're never going away. They're just gonna be there. They're like herpes. They're like herp. They're never going away. They will just be there to be the thorn in our side, the nemesis to all of us. It's what it's, you know, you need. You need it. You need it. You can't just be all sunshine and smiles all the time. Sometimes you need a little, you know, David Thielen and Giselle in your life to know that, you know, that you're a good person because they are such horrible people. So, you know, they're around. I don't know if that clears up the story for you, but, I mean, that's pretty much it. It would be real easy for me to publicly hate a Rob Sesternino or another group or any of those people. That's just too easy. I hate some of our own fans. <laughs> um, is Dead Skull 35 fake or the real Paul? Uh, Dead Skull 35 is the real Paul. As is, I believe Dead Skull 35 is actually Paul. Dead Skull Tweets is Paul's business Twitter. <gasps> Today's Conquer Thyroid Issues birthday. Is she in here? Is she in here? Is she in here? Um. He uses Dead Skull tweets only now. Okay, good to know. I think he had multiple accounts and was going to use Dead Skull tweets for the main one. Okay, if that all happened while I was doing the show, then um, I don't know. Okay, Maximus Mom. Oh, uh, can anybody who is friends with Conquer Thyroid Issues, um, you know, do a create a moment thing? You know, like a create a moment. Are we ready? Are we ready to create a moment? Let's create a, a moment for Conquer Thyroid Issues. Okay, here we go. Three, two, and one. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Conquer Thyroid Issues. I wish I had some lush to send you, but I already did. <laughs> Happy birthday, Conquer Thyroid Issues. Wish you were here, but you're probably out celebrating your birthday and doing a lot more fun stuff than Listen to us talk about how Nicole won Big Brother. Have a super fun day. Bye, friend. Ba -dum -bum. There you go. There you go. He swapped the accounts name. He swapped the account names. I retweeted something from 35, and now it's on tweets. I know. We had to do the same thing. Some dick bag. Because I wasn't quick enough. <sighs> some dick bag took BBOTT feed updates. Like every single season, we've been the season number and feed updates. And somebody caught on and went and took BBOTT feed updates. So now we had to change our name of our feed updates account to uh, BBOTT live feeds. Which, honestly, I was surprised was available. I would think that would be the most obvious thing to take. 
You should follow her. Hey, uh, it's Dina. Conquer Thyroid Issues does a lot of stuff for charity and a lot of stuff for um, spreading awareness for stuff uh, for thyroid issues and like does support groups and stuff about it. So you should totally follow her. I'll sell it to you. What are you selling to me, Eric B. Dapper? What are you selling me? What are you selling me, Ken? People are so weird. Yeah, they are. Are you recording this show? I missed the first hour and a half. I am recording it. You are. Cocaine? Oh, the Twitter account. I swear to God. I, I, I got a problem. I got short-term memory problems. It is... It is crazy. I'm I'm gonna have Alzheimer's so bad when I'm older. I feel I I was gonna say I feel bad for whoever has to take care of me. I didn't have kids, so I don't know who's gonna take care of me. I really think it's gotta be time I start thinking about having kids. I'm really gonna need someone to take care of me when I get older. I mean either that or I gotta be rich so I can hire someone, but that's never gonna happen. Like if like if I'm thirty five now and I don't have money to fix my fucking car, I'm not gonna be able to pay someone to take care of me. So I need to have a kid. It involves putting a penis in a vagina, doesn't it? Mm. Gotta figure this one out. Oh, yeah, yeah, the niece. I forgot about that. I, I forgot. I forgot. Thank you, Ed Rizzo. I've been so busy lately. I forgot I invested a lot of time in the nephews and nieces. Put a lot of time into that insurance fund. Gotta get them a good Christmas gift this year. <laughs> Excited for next week, Redhead Michelle. Don't be too excited yet, Redhead Michelle. I will say, I booked my plane tickets. It ended up where the only thing I could get was really early on Thursday. Um, so, I can tell you, I, I, I don't know what's going to happen yet, but I promise I'm going to try. I promise I'm going to try. Really, now, the only time I seem to have will be Tuesday night. But I will try. Believe me, I know it sucks. Um, almost time to get started for Chris. It is amazing how th I'm just getting sandwiched between sad and happy and sad. So I'm not saying it's totally out. I would say don't super duper get your hopes up yet. I still don't know what my schedule is yet for next week, but I know I thought I would have a lot more time on Thursday, and I kind of don't at the moment. Um, Fair Heather says I'm going to Disney next week, which is so depressing, but I'm happy for you. Um, and BBOTT feed update looks like it's been saved by you. Oh, yes, it is, but our, our, we used to be feed updates or feed updaters. I don't remember what it is. I'm so confused. <laughs> anyway, yes, decorating for Christmas. We are almost one month away. We were, we're almost 30 days away for decorating for Christmas, and I can't wait. I love that Frankie hates Nicole. I know, isn't it so weird that Frankie is not a Nicole fan? I mean, how odd is it that Frankie flew Nicole to New York, had him stay with her, and then after she left, turned around thinking, gosh, I really just don't like her as a person. I wonder why that is. I guess when you're just like a leech on everyone around you. I mean, I'm just saying. People that are Nicole fans never matter. Because as soon as you did, you'd find out. Good 
Uh, Eric, BBOTT feed updaters ain't taken. Oh, well, awesome. I'm sure it will be now. It was before. <laughs> Whatever our name used to be, we used to be BB18 something. Whatever that something was, was not available when I changed it from BB18 to BBOTT. The name is too long. Okay, then maybe that's what it was then. Then maybe I'm wrong. I did it like a month ago. Maybe I wanted to make it BBOT Updaters. I think that's what it is. Maybe BBOT Updaters was taken. Andy is a good person. I don't necessarily agree with how he's handling the Nicole, the Nicole thing, because while I, I get the humor in what he's doing, and I do find some of the stuff that he's doing funny, there's also never the part where he ever also says he understands where anyone else is coming from. So it's like, if you, like I would find what you're saying a lot funnier if you took even just like a hot second break to let people know you also do understand where they're coming from. Like, I legitimately mean it when I say, I understand where the Nicole fans are coming from. I understand why people can make the argument that what Nicole did was a good strategy. And or it's just not a strategy that I respect. But like, he is just so, but he's Andy though. And you really can't blame him because that's always what he does. So... Like, it's funny to a point, but I'm like, meh. He doesn't care what fans think. Correct. He really doesn't. And now Nicole won't care what fans think. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Thanks, Ed Rizzo. Is the cast of Big Brother Over the Top released? It is. You didn't hear? I have it all right here. I wrote it down for you all. So, here it is. We have... Oh, God. We have... Uh, it's going to be all-stars. We have closeted southern guy, ethnic person, actually a relatable but not too ethnic person, a blonde, preferably dumb, clueless recruit with a good jawline, a super fan, but this time they must like fat people, someone with a beard, since it's 2016, maybe a lady, a batshit crazy person, a person with an annoying voice, a YouTube personality, and a child or pet of a previous player is what we're going to be seeing on the Big Brother Over the Top season. You're welcome. You are welcome, that's your guest, yeah. Good night, Camila. Okay, um, you're on this season. What would I be? What would I be if I was on this season, Ed Rizzo? You choose your words carefully. Oh, I'm waiting. I, did I say Ed Rizzo? I meant Rod Carson. <laughs> I want to know what Rod Carson thinks I would be if I was on this season. Super fan that likes fat people. I don't think I'm a super fan. Is that weird? I don't think I'm a super fan of Big Brother. <laughs> Ed Rizzo says, I was going to say the sassy person. I have good news for all of you. I just am, I, I have news that you all are going to like in one second. I have news you're all gonna like in one second. Okay, Rod Carson is taking too long to type his reply, and I'm clearly gonna miss it because I'm gonna do this now. Um, I'll tell you how I'm not a super fan in one second. Oh, Rod Carson says on the seventh one down. What the hell was the seventh one down? Are you just guessing? Three, four, five, six, seven. A batshit crazy person? Eh, I'll take it. Um... Okay, you now, chat room, don't go anywhere. And I really mean don't go anywhere, because I have to tell you all something that you're going to love in one second. But let me wrap up 
the show for those watching the playback. And those of you watching the playback, you just are going to have to become a fan on you now to know the super amazing thing I was going to tell everyone. And uh, by the way, I'm not kidding. I'm not doing that. I have a super amazing thing to tell you, and it's just lackluster. You actually are going to like what I'm about to tell all of you. So I will just say three things to end this show. You can see all of our content or get to all of our content and everything at yourrealityrecaps.com slash bb 8 Teen. Uh, if you want to be a live feed updater for Big Brother Over the Top, you can fill out the form at BBOTT Updaters, your reality recaps.com slash BBOTT Updaters. And lastly, if you want to help support our shows, your reality recaps.com slash patron, uh, access to weekly shows just for patrons, weekly prize giveaways for patrons, uh, p- a private Facebook group for patrons, your questions asked to reality stars, or you could do a one-time donation like uh, BB Princess very generously did, she says, <laughs> um, at yourrealityrecaps.com slash PayPal. I will see all of you guys tomorrow night. Thanks. Bye.